From the Tennessee Valley Weather Channel, this is your evening update. Some morning showers across the area moved off and dissipated. Clouds hung around, but we've actually had a few breaks with sunshine this afternoon. The clouds are thickening back up before heavy rain moves into the area, starting during the morning hours over Wednesday, but possibly some localized heavy downpours developing after midnight tonight. Today, got up into the 50s. Definitely a welcome sight after the past 10 days or so we've had across the area. Morning low was only 43, so not chilly by any stretch compared to the past few days. No rainfall officially measured at the Lawrenceburg Airport, but there have been some showers in parts of the area. There will be some rainfall measured as we talk this time tomorrow for sure, possibly a couple inches. Here's a flood watch in place for all of our viewing area across southern middle Tennessee, northwest Alabama, northeast Mississippi. From now through Thursday night, our Tennessee and Mississippi counties, it expires at 6 p.m. Thursday. It goes all the way through midnight Thursday night, 12 a.m. Friday morning in north Alabama. Regardless of when it expires for your area, the takeaway message is flood watch in place, localized aerial type flooding and flash flooding possible over the next couple days with several rounds of locally heavy downpours coming. Cloudy skies tonight. Temperatures going to be a couple of degrees milder than what you see on Futurecast because it's been too cold compared to reality this afternoon. Only upper 40s tonight before we get back into the 50s after midnight. A few showers possible after midnight. Some locally heavy downpours developing by Wednesday morning as early as near daybreak or just after. And then Wednesday late morning through midday into the afternoon, that's when the heavier rain and rumbles of thunder set in here. I don't expect any severe weather in terms of severe thunderstorms across our area. That automatically means no tornado threat across the area, no high wind threat across the area. We're not looking at that. We're looking at heavy downpours, rumbles, thunder, rumbles of thunder, and the potential for some flooding and flash flooding across the area, even though the heavier rain totals that I'll show you in a moment have kind of shifted south of the area. There's still some flooding potential across the area. Rounds of locally heavy rainfall continue into the afternoon before the heaviest weather, at least by early evening, shifts off in the northeast Alabama, but more heavy rain and thunderstorms coming later Wednesday night into Thursday. We won't be done by the evening through midnight Thursday night, 12 a.m. Friday. Here's the latest future cast rain totals. Still one and a half to two and a half inches across southern middle Tennessee, northwest Alabama. That has come down from earlier thinking that three, four, five, six inch type rain through Thursday night. That's trended south with the big thunderstorm complex. However, because of the snow melt we've had and the ice melt we've had and how the ground's still saturated, the soil moisture saturated right now and also how the frost levels in the ground have changed. And this is going to cause more to run off than to be absorbed into the ground even a one or two inch rain could still cause some significant flooding and flash flooding here it's just not that higher end type flooding potential we were maybe earlier looking at but i still expect some flood warnings flash flood warnings across the area for wednesday and the thursday and then more heavy rain another inch or two of rain coming on saturday but this big training complex of thunderstorms setting up just south of us more heavy rain as we head into Thursday. A break in the widespread rain for Friday, but a few showers possible. Then low pressure system and cold front comes across on Saturday with more locally heavy downpours. Not a threat of severe weather with that because we don't have the instability necessary. But that brings the cold front here that brings some cooler and drier air for Sunday and early next week. Back to seasonable, le seasonable levels. Not talking about big Arctic air. Back into the upper 40s, lower 50s for highs early next week. Morning lows near the freezing mark. We can handle that. That's what we usually see this time of year. Before then, we're into the 60s from Wednesday through Friday. Morning lows even into the 50s there Thursday morning and Friday morning as the mild weather sticks around with this rainy weather pattern forecast for tonight cloudy skies a few showers possible overnight better chance of rain and a few thunderstorms involved as we head into our wednesday morning temperatures coming up out of the upper 40s into the lower 50s overnight some of you may not even get out of the lower 50s for overnight lows and then headed back into the upper 50s to lower 60s for daytime highs for our Wednesday, mainly lower 60s over southern middle Tennessee. Rain and thunderstorms likely, no severe storm threat out there, but there is threat of flooding and flash flooding. 
Northwest Alabama, more of the same with the low to mid 60s here. Seven day forecast looks like this heavy rain and thunderstorms with flooding possible Wednesday, Wednesday night, and Thursday. Backs off to a few showers on Friday. More locally heavy downpours possible Saturday. And then we finally clear out back to sunshine Sunday through the early next week. Daytime highs dropping on the 50s and 60s back into the upper 40s by Sunday. There's a look to a seven day forecast. I'll be back at nine o'clock for a final check of your local weather.